So since we already prepared the controls, now the next part is to write the function for the button save. So each text box will correspond to each column from our database. So uh, the function uh, will say like that. The command line actually. We will do. We will try to do do it very. Uh, simple so it will be cells and uh, this uh, property has two <coughs> has uh, two um, attributes row index and column index for column index it's clear that it will be for the first column but for row we will try to identify which is the last row uh, of our uh, database so to do that we will go down in the range and then move up and stop until the data uh, it's uh, starting so it will be um, range a 10,000 because we will go from there uh, dot and and after we go to the end of the range we will go up so we will select xl up and of course that row because we have we need the uh, number of last row and we will put a plus one because we want to go to the next row from the so this is the last row and this is the next row from our database and it will be equal with text box one dot text which is the name of our first field from uh, from the form so this is text one you can see here in the left in properties text one text two three four no it's five five six four it's here we will change this because we want it to be organized so it's four five four come on four five six four five six good <clears throat> now, now we can uh, use copy paste so this is the first one second third down, down. and one more uh, the plus one we need only for the first row because uh, we already identified the road the row and uh, we don't need it for the other one so uh, the first column it will be text box one the second column it will be text box two so this is third four five six and the same here three four five six so these rows will uh, move our values from uh, the text boxes into our database in the last row in the in the new row after the last row here and this action it will be done when we press the button save of course after we uh, add the data we should refresh our um, our table from here because uh, this is how it should do so we'll call call common button one click because this common button one click it's the button that refreshes our data so we're simply calling that button and also it will be nice to add <coughs> a message box so we'll say message box data added okay so in order to test this we will go here show the list order date is 10 13 2017 region this one test item pencil units 1000 unit cost 10 but for this first we'll refresh the data so you see that we don't have a uh, new york and uh, that and if you click save the button says the message says but that data added and down here we can see new york test pencil guys i hope that was 
so guys i hope you find this last tutorial useful in order to use it uh, further in your projects so uh, don't forget to leave a comment subscribe and if you found it useful and uh, if you have any other suggestions regarding other videos or subjects don't forget to let uh, me know in the comments below bye